All right, super interesting bout. I actually watched this on stream live uh, when it was happening. And uh, we'll see Cat Holmes gets a bit of a lead. Uh, and then Vivian Kong, see, like she just finds the timing, and she refines the timing. It looks like she saw it early on, but she couldn't quite find the confidence to go in. So uh, let's go have a look and see what the adjustments were. Other than that, I hope, uh, thank you for watching, I appreciate you, and uh, if you're looking to support the channel, I do have a Patreon, uh, you're absolutely welcome to join that, and if not, that's perfectly fine. Or we have a Discord if you'd like to chat with other fencing nerds, so I hope you uh, come join us. Otherwise, uh, let's let's get going. Let's start watching the bout. Cat Holmes. This was in top 32. I believe uh, Vivian Kong, no matter what, is going to the Olympics. I believe Cat Holmes should be pretty firmly on an Olympic spot on the uh, U.S. team. Uh, Vivian Kong individually is fine. However, uh, she does... They they do need I think they need one more good to like they need to finish off the next team tournament well to solidify the team spot for her other uh, comrades. I believe here first period we're gonna oh okay so there it is. Let's speed it up. Oh, so that was really good, insane, crazy. So. Really good pressure, right? Vivian Kong, like uh, having I fence cat home at practice too. She she's a very imposing person, and when someone is pushing you, if you can't make that decision that I'm going to punish right away, you have to concede. Otherwise, right, you're not going to be in a winning position. So Vivian Kong is just taking her time to go back, and right away here we get a little attention high. As soon as you're at the distance to hit the hand, there's a good chance. That you're, see, it's not even a full lunge, right? You're basically a half lunge squat to the foot. Fantastic hit. So far, like, very dominant from Cat Holmes. Obviously, one point, we're only 50 seconds in, so we're not going to read too much into that. Also, funny in the drama that you've seen before, Aubrey is in the background coaching the women's also, so I don't think he's completely out of the picture for the French. So really good. So this is here where I think like she's seeing a timing and uh, Cat Holmes, you're watching. I, I hope that uh, I, I think this is here where you have, uh, she, you have to be more careful. But watch, she releases the distance and Vivian Kong instantly follows and on the foot and then the back foot comes a little too close and insta punish. All right, so we're getting kind of a cheater step to get back closer and that's too much dead time especially for an attack and prep right away she sees it so look at look at the start for the footwork so here boom boom insta punish So right away in about, and a lot of people do this too, or like sometimes it'll be more blatant, it'll be like a crossover, we'll cross over and then we'll get punished right away. So we got to be very careful early on, uh, especially when the bout starts. Ready from the second the, uh, the LA is called. Let's speed it up a bit. First, both are just kind of in the middle. There's not too much happening. Aha! There it is. So the distance release, and then we can see. Oh, -ho. but however, it's not as bad. Was just with the same pattern. Distance is released, and then on the re-entry, Vivian Kong's already on it, and it's just with a strong six. It looks like. Very nice hit. So right away, when we I was watching this about, I was like, oh wow, well, Vivian Kong's kind of got this. Then we'll see Cat Holmes not to be trifled with.
So very nice. So the footwork here is in really good control. Right, there's not much to punish here. And she right away goes, right? Vivian Kong tries to punish here. But the footwork is relatively controlled. And Vivian, uh, Vivian excuse me, Cat Holmes is already in the line, right? So Vivian's trying to go over when it's too close. But since the footwork is good enough, Cat Holmes gets to sneak it in right away. So now we got to be very careful on this re-entry here. Yep, good. Oh, really nice. So, also shout out to the guy who told me the keyboard commands for speeding up the video. So she reopens. Vivian Kong thinks she can punish, but the distance is a little too far. When Cat Holmes, like, she really always has like her tip on your face and in or around your hand. So if you go in too aggressively from too far, you're gonna get absolutely nailed. Oh, so she tries it again. So on the re-entry. A bit, yeah, it's just a little bit. So you see here, we're getting the re-entry with the right. So let, let's back it up. So this is like it's a really good tactic. Right? You back up and then you try to punish. But look at this on the re-entry, we get a bit of a cheater step again, and boom. But it's a little bit too far. So right here, it's, we're not quite a lunch territory. And if we want to do an opposition, very hard at that distance, right? If you're just too far, I could look for the blade all day. I'm just going to get absolutely mur murdered. And she's like, right, so the whole time you can see, like, Vivian Kong is always just focusing, laser focused on that sharp tempo there. Or, excuse me, tempo, timing. Ooh. So. On the re-entry... Yeah, no chance. So again, a little too far, right? So she's seeing the timing, but she can't punish it. Again, right? I'm saying, I'm, I'm talking to this timing as if it's like the easiest thing in the world to punish. It's not. It's very, very hard to punish these things. But like losing a point on something you think is valid is not a problem. If you think you can eventually get to it. So let's see where this went, right? So a lot of, we're going to see a very common theme of a re-entry getting punished. So this is really, so here, front foot lands, we try to go for the hand. Or the arm more, should I say. So we're going to go to a one minute break. So if I were in a one minute break with Vivian, I'm assuming she's probably telling her coach, hey, I see this. I'm trying. Coach is OK. Let's keep going for it. Maybe let's see what kind of adjustments we see. If I was Kat, I would say, like, you need to shove her to the back. Uh, that way, that way she can't set up her footwork, right? Every time you pull, it's you can force her to follow or you can just keep her back there. So there, she can't really find any flow to exploit anything. So, yeah, pressure being applied. And then one thing that I love about this kind of style is so it feels a little bit Hungarian, like Koch fence like this. The arm is really out. So it's very scary. You can't do too much. And then once you get past, all, all, uh, all Kat has to do is bring her arm back 
and she's got a second parry behind it. So very hard to deal with. It's a lot of pressure. It's very, very hard to deal with this. And this is fantastic, because the footwork here is really good. All right, look how, it's, like, this is sharp, concise, very clean. Very good hit. All right, as I said, right, as soon as you go in, that, sh that tip is razor sharp on your hand. Not fun to deal with. <laughs> Where is that? <laughs> the little, little hand there. So here, uh, so she here here she sees it. Uh, it's coming, but the tip is not disrupted at all. So eight five, but. Well, I like, look at, like, Vivian Kong's composure. Like, yeah, she walks back a little disappointed, but there's no, like, there's no real outburst. It's just, all right, I have work to do, and I'm going to get it done. Oh, so now a little bit of a rush. All right, so she's not really, she's, she's kind of finding it, but, like, it's way too early. So, man, at 9-5... Whew. And let's see, re entry. Really, so there, look, the distance is so much better. Look at how well she's able to just oppose the tip, right? Even if you want to get it in, doesn't matter. Very nice hit. So a little bit more patient on the entry there. Well done by Vivian. This is uh, why a lot of coaches will advocate with hand first. The hand's leading, and we can get a double for both ways. They both had a similar idea. Here. So this is where I think Vivian Kong really starts seeing it and she's really refining every time the distance open one the back foot comes in So here back foot comes in way too close we get a hop and I won't say easy, but it's very exploitable of a timing Wow, so yeah, she's really abusing this. Every time the distance opens, there's a really big weakness, or there's something that Vivian is able to really exploit. And then here, we're in the, she's in the air, poor cat's in the air, gets nailed on that beautiful opposition. So let's see here. Distance open. Let's be careful. And like, it's not like it's a huge gap, right? This one is like not that much. But man, is that timing just beautiful. Like super nice high hand. Arm first. We clean the opposition. Oh, very, very lovely fencing here. And just like that, right? You're up four points and now you're feeling a little nervous. 
a lot of your actions might be tighter your reactions might be a bit more you know out of the ordinary you're like has my opponent figured me out the answer is probably a little bit we get a passivity here I think we do because they both look at the clock it looks like they want to run it down a bit Right, so obviously I'm not the one code, like uh, maybe I wouldn't see this middle of the valve, right? This was after looking at it more than once, right? So it's still some armchair analysis. Uh, but yeah, during the period, I, I would definitely tell Cat to clean, like refine, refine the approach. Because a lot, the, the big, the consistent thing we're seeing is open the distance. Every time I go back in, I get punished. How do we fix that, right? So retighten the entry, more hand first make sure we're not cheating on our steps forward uh vivian here we're saying you're clearly seeing something use it Same timing, right? So she's attacking now here. Back foot lands. We start. And I actually think this could be Cap's point if we didn't do this. If we just stopped here. So it looks like the same idea. Yeah, right on this. If you even start, the hand was a little late. Vivi, like you can see, Vivi Kong is really choosing our moments. This cat is opening up and down, up and down. Right, so right, and there's like, there's two ways to like, obviously, like, cat's getting punished on her re entry, and maybe, right, she thinks uh, Vivian's waiting long enough that she thinks that uh, cat doesn't see it anymore, or what have you, right? So maybe cat's getting closer on purpose. There's, uh, there are some unknown factors by me here. And here, open, and we're gonna get the attack. So this was, this was really good, because if Cat brings that back foot any more forward, I think this is Vivian's hit. But Vivian's really, like she's seeing the timing she wants. Every time I see this here, I get really scared for Cat. We get a little passivity. So here, 14 14. We go to overtime. So let's go to our time. Let's see what the hit is. So Cat has priority, but I don't think she's interested in going back. Oh. Okay. 
re-entry and so look oh man this is a really nice so look look how early Vivian Kong was with her hand and she was able, able to punish that so two things happen really nice adaptation so big distance retreat distance pull the front foot lands Vivian went with her hand to make sure she'd be first and Cat gets nailed. So we're all like just obviously both these girls are super good and this isn't like a, a, a like this isn't like a cat home trash, right? That video, it's a it's not a trashing video, it's all right, fifteen fourteen against Vivian Kong. Uh, higher ranked fencers have gotten less points on Vivian, right? Just to show that Sometimes you're onto something, and you just got to refine it a little bit. Uh, so, yeah, so I hope you guys like this video, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Have yourselves a fantastic day.